Hey everyone, welcome to Playground Sessions YouTube channel. I'm Phil. Today I've got another song section to break down for you. So let's get into it. You guys voted on our Facebook community for me to teach you how to play Bolero by Ravel. And so you know what? Because this is an awesome classical piece, we're going to do the advanced level arrangement. I'm just going to show you the first section and we're going to do each hand separately. We're going to break everything down. By the end of this video, you're going to be able to play this whole section at full speed once you've put in that practice as well. Okay, so let's take a listen to what this section sounds like. The section we're going over today sounds like this. One, set, go. Okay, there we have it. Let's not waste any time, guys. Let's dive in. We're going to start with the right hand first. Here we go. First off, our key signature is zero sharps, zero flats. That tells us we're in the key of C. And our very first note is a C. Our very last note in this section is a C. Okay, so we can see we're clearly in the key of C. Our time signature is three, four. The four on the bottom means that the quarter note gets one beat and the three on the top tells us that we have three beats per measure. We can fit three quarter notes in one measure, or a half note in a quarter note in one measure, or any combination of eighth notes, sixteenth notes, whatever, that add up to three full beats in each measure. All right, so our first note is a C. We're going to do it with our third finger. And I'm going to move kind of quickly through this, since this is the advanced level arrangement. All right, C, tie it over. B, C, D, C, B, A, C. Okay, there's our first measure. Into the second measure we have C, C, A, C, tied over. B, C, next measure. A, third finger over to G, thumb on E. And then we're going to walk up to F and back to G. We're going to tie over to the next measure and walk down through this 16th note passage. Our second finger is going to do a lot of work here. We're going to go down Two finger on F, one on E, two over to D, but keep your thumb where it is, because our thumb's going to go right back up and play that E again. Two's going to come back over to F, and we're going to walk back up, finally landing on G. Next line down. Tie it over. A, B, A, G, F, E. Second finger over to D. Now we're in a C position. In our next measure, we're going to play E, D, C. Rest. C, D, E, F, D, G. We're going to tie this G over. And this is kind of the end of our first phrase, if you will. Now, the next half of this section, uh, or I should say the next phrase, so we're going to jump up and start again up here, not on a C, but this time on a D. Tie it over. C, B, A, B, C, D, C, B. Tied. C, B, A, C, B, A, F, tied over. There's a lot of stepwise motion and scale motion, right, through this section, but a couple of jumps as well, like that. And those jumps can sound kind of stark when, we're, when we've just played a lot of stepwise motion. Next measure. Then two finger goes to F. thumb down to D, and then two on D. See how we're using each one of those little mini phrases to bring our hand position down little by little? Okay, now moving on, thumb on D. Next measure. Moving up now, next line and final line down. G, walking all the way down to C. So, why don't we go ahead and cue up our backing track, which is going to provide even timing for us, kind of like a fancy metronome. 
And we're gonna try to do this right hand part now in time at a slower than normal tempo. And once we have that down, we'll speed it up. So here we go. One, set, go. Alright, so there's slow tempo right hand, and you may have noticed that it's very difficult to count this in a slow 3-4 feel. I think that's because there's a lot of 16th notes that are tied over, but I think it's also because the melodic material we have here is not really outlining beat one of each measure very well. And I think that's obviously intentional and it creates a really cool effect. But because of that, it is a little more difficult to feel it in three. So it's extra important that you count each note's duration accurately. All right? So please take your time with that. But when you're ready, let's speed it up to full tempo. One, set, go. Alright, so there we have it, 100% for the right hand. Let's go ahead and switch gears, talk about this left hand part. I promise you, it's going to be so much easier than the right hand part. So it'll be short and sweet, let's dig into it now. Let's get our hand situated up here with our third finger on a C, below a middle C, our thumb or first finger on G, and our pinky or fifth finger on G. And let's just play that a few times. C. G, low G, C, G, G, C, G, G. Guys, that's the whole pattern for the left hand for this. It's very easy to play on its own and it just repeats throughout this whole section. The difficulty, however, comes in when we put these hands together, keeping that left hand part very even and unchanged while the right hand is doing its thing on top. Okay, so why don't we try to play this left hand part at full speed, then we'll get into putting the hands together. One, set, go. Okay, sweet. There's that left hand part. I told you it would be short and sweet, right? Now, again, the tricky part comes when we put the hands together. So that's what we're about to dive into now. But first, let me quickly tell you that Playground Sessions interactive app can be yours for free for 30 days if you're a YouTube subscriber. Step one, if you wanna try our interactive app and a 30 day free trial, 
Step one is you got to hit the subscribe button here on YouTube below. Okay, but step two then is to tap this card above. It works on your phone or computer or whatever. Click it, tap it, and it's going to give you some info about how you can sign up for that free trial. You can finish this song in the app. You can try it at different difficulty levels if this one's too tough for you. And there's a whole bunch more in the app as well. So please take advantage of that free trial. But for now, let's put these hands together. One, two, go. Okay, way to go. There we have it at slow tempo. And don't forget, please be patient with your progress here as you put the hands together. Do not be in a hurry to speed up. All right, take your time. But when you are ready, let's wrap this thing up together now at full speed. One, set, go. we did it that felt really good I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson and thank you again everyone who voted on this lesson if you haven't voted on a lesson in the past if you're not a part of our Facebook community find the link in the description of this video to go join that community it's a super fun group of real playground users who are sharing videos of their progress and and tips and just tricks and things like that uh, it's a super inspiring group so please Follow that link and join that community if you want to have your voice and your vote heard. All right. Uh, otherwise, we've got a lot of fun stuff going on. I hope you explore the channel. And don't forget to take advantage of that free trial. I'm Phil. I'll see you guys soon for the next video lesson here on Playground Sessions YouTube channel. The features you saw on screen today can be at your fingertips with the Playground Sessions app. Co-created by music legend Quincy Jones, Playground teaches the piano with interactive feedback and gaming features, all while using your favorite songs. Alright guys, I'm Phil. Hit subscribe so I can see you for the next video.